Oh, that wailing in those background vocals is so cool. What's up, friends? I'm a musician, producer, singer, songwriter, etc. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush. We'll be reacting to it and examining it from a professional perspective. When a song shows up on a TV show or movie in a big and important role, it can really skyrocket the popularity of that song. And Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush is a prime example of how that can happen. With its inclusion in the latest season of Stranger Things, the song has become massive, probably bigger than it ever was in 1985, getting to the top of the Spotify, Apple Music, and Billboard charts. Let's see what is going on in this song. Let's talk about it a little bit and uh, give a little bit of a lowdown. That intro is very long for a pop song in today's world. You got like 22, 23 seconds. But I do like how the instruments come in. You have the atmospheric pad and those drums hitting hard. And then you get the really unique synthesizer that in my mind is playing the starring role in this song. It has such a fun sound and it has this nice pitch fluctuation. I like that it's taking the role kind of, of a lead guitar and doing the primary riff for this song. The melody writing is really interesting on top of this uh, song. You have these kind of short, sporadic melodies followed by long held notes. You know to hurt me. Also, her vocal approach is really interesting. She's going for a really desperate vibe, sacrificing a little bit of clarity to achieve that desperation in her vocal. Also, you'll notice that the vocal sounds almost like it's behind the mix. That has to do with the reverb and the level at which the vocal is in the mix. I really like that choral sound. I think it's a choral sounding synth Mellotron. It really helps add a layer of excitement to that vocal. Also, that's just such a catchy melody. How do I make a deal with go? She makes these massive jumps and that creates a feeling of tension and it importance, an epic quality to the melody. Also fits well, she's saying she's running up that hill and her vocals are going up. Also, the deal with God part of this, I think is interesting. It adds a nice biblical layer to the song. Nice divinity, which always can add a layer of an epic quality to a song. This music video is so odd, by the way. Love that harmony, adding a new layer to the second verse. There's not a lot of differentiations in between the first and second verse on this song, but that harmony really just cements the importance of that line. I love the use of harmonies as an instrument rather than just like another layer as something that has its own specific place. I do it a lot in my music, especially on the song Grey Blue Eyes, which is out now on my Spotify. Shameless plug. You'll notice that that Mellotron has a new harmonic layer to it. And also they're adding another synth, which really enriches that chorus. Just gives it an extra layer of depth building with every single chorus. Also, I think her vocals sound a little bit more intense too. That's smart as well to keep adding emotional intensity as well as musical intensity to future choruses. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it. Please do. Thanks. That solo section I think is really important to this song. Having that synth have its time to shine again. You'll notice that throughout this song, they kind of trade places. The vocal doesn't get in the way of that interesting synth and that synth doesn't get in the way of that vocal. That synth is part of the sonic atmosphere reason why this song was included in the Stranger Things franchise because they're very much about those interesting synths. Their main theme has that really fascinating arpeggiator synth 
and they're going for that 80s synth vibe, that synth pop exploration. Bridge is brilliant. Layered vocals, doubles to really send a point home. There's not that much doubling used throughout this song, so when they add it into the bridge, it adds another layer of excitement. It's adding something else to make that bridge distinct. And then that drum fill at the end, sick. I feel like the 80s had some really interesting tom fills that were very loud and explosive, especially In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. It's a great example of that. Oh, that's cool. Do you hear that higher synth doing the do 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 that stabbing sounds great. See, I always add another element. I was adding something new. Oh, much guitar now. I find it interesting how much louder the toms are than the rest of the drums. It's weird. Oh, that wailing in those background vocals is so cool. A lot of interesting things in that end there. I feel like that red coloration there was almost exactly the same as the one in Stranger Things. So it's cool to see how they've incorporated that visual aspect from the music video into their TV show. That weird vocoder effect on her vocal there at the end. Give it kind of that monstrous identity. An interesting add to the end of the song. I feel like the song in general doesn't give off too much of like a, a devilish vibe, but more of a pleading. I also liked her vamping when that electric guitar comes in. Really interesting melodic choices there. Great sound of the guitar too. Just had a really crunchy, reverby feel. That with those synth stabs at the end really makes that last chorus section, that outro section stand out in a fun way. Yeah, overall, great song. I can see why it's doing so well and it really fits the Stranger Things vibe. So awesome, I bet Kate Bush is just celebrating. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it added something to your perspective for this song, gave you new insights. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it, it helps grow this channel. I'm also a musician, songwriter, producer. If you'd like to check out some of my music, I've got a link to it here. My album Giovanni is also a synth pop album. And so if you like synth pop, if you like this type of stuff, it's darker and devilish. You'll get into it. And that's it. Catch on the flip.